In this video we will learn how to create a cinematic intro title in Filmora. Like this. Hello everyone, welcome to Solly Tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how to create a simple yet effective cinematic title intro in Filmora. Cinematic title intros are a great way to add a professional touch to your videos. They can help to set the tone of your video and make it more visually appealing. So, if you're ready to learn how to create a cinematic title intro in Filmora, then let's get started. I have some files in the media to make the cinematic intro title. I will use these files in today's intro title. Its free download link is in the description. Add text to the timeline by clicking quick text. Double click it, and edit the text. I wrote cinematic. I increase the font size. And set it to 125. Change the font size to Bebas. Go to the text advanced settings. Center the text alignment from here. And click apply. I have set the color of this text to white color by default. After that, take a snapshot of it. Note that the snapshot format has to be JPG. OK. I move the text forward. And I drag and drop the snapshot picture into start. And then I drag and drop the picture from the media called Meta Rust onto the timeline. We have to move the above picture down. For this I move the top track by dragging it down. Double click on the snapshot picture above. Go to Compositing tab. Here select the Multiply option in the Blending Mode box. So the white color of our text will be removed and the background picture will be visible in its background. Double click on the picture below and adjust its scale. I increase the size of the background picture a bit. Now take a snapshot of it. Format of snapshot should be JPG. Now delete the top track picture on the timeline. Whatever titles I want to write, I will write them in the same way and take snapshots of them. Delete snapshots of white color text from media and leave only the snapshots of the titles we added backgrounds to. So you can see that I took the snapshot of total 4 titles in the same way. Delete everything from the timeline. Go to Media. From here, drag and drop the picture named Background Picture onto the timeline. I want to apply an effect on this picture. Go to the Effects tab. From here we have to find an effect. This effect is called Vignette Radius. Drag and drop the effect onto the picture on the timeline. If you want to increase or decrease the amount of effect you want. So double click on the picture. Go to the effects panel. From here you can adjust the radius and opacity of the effect to your liking. OK. Go to the media tab again. There will be a video called background. Drag and drop this background video onto the timeline. Double click on the video. Go to blending mode. Select the screen option inside the blending mode box. After dragging these two files, Drag and drop a snapshot picture of your first title from the media onto the timeline. Then go to Media. 
All the files I use from here are linked in the description. Drag and drop audio files onto the timeline as well. Double click the snapshot picture of the title above. Go to the blending mode box. Select the lighten option from here. Now place the playhead at the start of the first beat of the audio music. And split the title picture here. Double click on the second part of the picture. Go to mask tab. Select the rectangle mask shape from here. And create a mask above the title something like this. Go to mask settings. Invert the mask from here. Adjust the mask position. And also adjust the height of the mask. I set the height of the mask to 3. Go to media again. From here, drag and drop the fire out video onto the timeline. Double click on this video. Go to the blending mode box. Select the color dodge option from here. Select this video. Go to transform. From here, adjust the position of the fire out video above the mask. Next, we have to apply an animation to the fire out video. Place the playhead where the fire reaches the top of the mask. And add an empty keyframe here. Then move the playhead a little further, where the fire animation reaches the end. And add another keyframe here. In this keyframe, move the position of the fire video to the bottom of the title. So it will create an animation something like this. And we have to do similar animation in the below title mask as well. Shift the playhead to this keyframe. And here add an empty keyframe of the mask to the lower title. And then shift the playhead to the second keyframe of the picture above. And here also add a mask keyframe to the bottom title. Move the position of the mask to the lower fire position in this second keyframe of the mask. So both mask and fire together will animate something like this. I move the start of the second part of the title to the first keyframe. And I increase the duration of the first part of the title accordingly. Because this will mean that our mask and fire start positions will be the same. Double click on the second part of the title picture. And add two opacity keyframes to its end. Set the opacity level in the last keyframe to 0%. So an exit animation like this will be created in our title. And one thing we must add. For this, again go to the Masks tab. Add the Blur Strength from here. In the keyframes of both masks I added 1.69% Blur Strength. To add the next title, I increase the duration of the background picture to end. Copy the background video.
and paste it next in the same track. And then I drag the next title from the media onto the timeline. I dragged it into the same title track. Also copy the fire video and paste it forward in the same fire track. Double click on this title picture. Go to the blending mode box. Here select the screen option within this box. So you can see that we already have a fire animation built on top of this title. At the start I split the title with the beat of the music. But for this title we need the same mask animation. Which we did for the first title. So for this we need to make another mask. Double click the first one's title. We have to save the mask of this title. Click on save as custom. Give any name for the mask. And click OK. So this mask is saved with us now. Double click this part of the title. Go to the masks tab. Click on the mask we saved here. So this mask animation was also applied to this title of ours. So on this title, both fire and mask will be animated together. Double click the title. Go to opacity. From here add two opacity keyframes to the end of the title. In the last keyframe, the opacity value should be 0%. So after doing all that, select the files of the three tracks above. Right click on it, and then click on select clip range. After selecting the clip range, mute the audio track, and export it. Click the export button above. Enter the name you want to give this clip range. And do whatever extra settings you want. Then click on the export button below. So this clip is saved with us as untitled. Go to Filmora. Delete everything but the audio from the timeline. Double click the media. And import the exported video into media. Drag and drop the video onto the timeline. Double click on this video. Go to transform. From here, add an empty keyframe of transform at the start of the video. Then move the playhead to the end of the first title of the video, and add an empty keyframe here too. Then move the playhead between these two keyframes. Set the scale to 130% in this keyframe. So it will create an animation something like this. And similar animation is to be made in the second title of this video as well. In an empty keyframe start. Add another empty keyframe. And the scale values in the middle keyframe should be set to 130%. So the same animation will be created in both the titles of this video. Now this video has to be split according to the beats of the audio music. I split the video here with the first beat of the music. The video has to be split here with the second beat of the music. And so split the video with all the big beats of the music.
so I split the video with every beat of the music. Now add a keyframe at the start of all the clips of this video, and keep the keyframe values at 130%. So I added a keyframe to the start of all the clips, and set its values to 130%. Select the last two clips and copy them. And paste it into end, so that the length of the title equals the length of the music. And also create a fade out animation using the opacity of this clip in the end. Now we have to apply a final effect. For this go to effects tab. And here we have to do an effect search. This effect is called cinema 21 to 9. Drag and drop the effect onto the timeline. Increase the duration of the effect according to the video. Double click the effect, and change the effect settings. I adjust the height of the effect from here, and make it 0.15. And that's how you create a cinematic title intro in Filmora. I hope you found this video helpful and like this awesome cinematic title intro. I always come up with such nice good videos. So it's better for you to subscribe this channel, like the video if it helps you. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'll see you next time.